Chief exports. Thank you so much. Yes. Not embarrassing at all. Uh, I mean, not more embarrassing than anything else, you know? Uh, Alright, anyway, I'll get started. Uh, I am single. That is going to make more sense the longer I keep talking. Everybody's on board? Okay, cool. Very good. Uh, I did have a boyfriend last year, and he was Swedish. I'm sorry, I said that wrong. He's, he's alive. I let him live. He's still Swedish. He's fine. He's here. Doing great, you know. Uh, and when I broke up with him, I mean, my friends were like, maybe you could get a boyfriend a little closer to home, Katie. And I was like, ooh, doubt it. You know? Like, I mean, like, no offense to American guys, I just have a type. I like my men. Like, I like my coffee. Hot and foreign with a spotless human rights record. <laughs> Uh, difficult to find in the U.S. Most of Scandinavia can get it. Okay, just so you know, so we're all clear. Uh, but I tried. I gave it a shot. All right, I went out with an American guy a few months ago. We went on three dates. I thought it was going okay, but then the day of our fourth date, I got a text from him, and I was at work. And it's like, if what you need for me to be honest about your feelings is to text them to me in the daytime while I'm at an office, please do that because I need to know that about you. You know, and also your feelings. Sure. Uh, but I have one really easy request. I, like, I don't have a problem. If you want to do that, it's okay. But I have one request. Just please get straight to the point. Don't beat around the bush. Make it fit on one screenshot. <laughs> yeah, because I have friends all over the world that I need to send this text message to with a full story and a point-by-point -point rebuttal, and they do not all have international data, so please be considerate. <laughs> also, you guys know, if you text me something like that, that means I have the entire animated GIF keyboard at my disposal to respond. So he texted me on Friday, and I had to spend all weekend trying to be an adult and not text back Simon Cowell going, it's a no from me. <laughs> Some people say an old reference. I say a timeless classic. Because here's the thing. He was not texting me to break up. That would have been okay. We had been on three dates. I don't want to have that conversation in person either. I haven't even cleaned my apartment yet. You know? Calm down. Uh, that was not why he was texting me, though. He was texting me to ask if I would be up for an open relationship. Which was a no for me. You know? And I actually, I ended up not sending anything back because at the end of the day, I got over it. I actually really appreciated that he was willing to put it out there and be honest about what he wanted. I wish him all the best. I hope that he is very happy with whoever he ends up with and whoever else. <laughs> Since evidently it will be a team effort. Okay. Uh, and I'm not trying to disrespect open relationships, all right? It is 2019. I live in New York City. I have a bunch of friends who are in open relationships. I know they can work. They can be beautiful and functional and some people genuinely have a lot of love to give. <laughs> yeah, do I seem like I have extra love to give? Do I seem like I need a hand or like a, a squad? Like, no, I'm still trying to behave like it's cool with me that some of my exes are sleeping with other people. And it is not. <laughs> and I understand that's not healthy, nor is it any of my business. I'm just letting you know where I'm at with it emotionally. <laughs> And my therapist is very proud of me for the work that I've done. Uh, yeah. I don't guess to work out with an American guy anyway. You know, like, I don't even like American guys. I like guys with accents. Because if you're not paying close enough attention, it sounds like a good personality. <laughs> Careful. Figure out which it is. And move on, right? That's why I like watching English soccer. It's like accents from a safe distance, you know? Like, I, I love, okay, I love the Premier League. And, like, people never believe me when I say that. Especially when I go to bars. I'll, like, try and go watch soccer games at the bar. And there will be guys at the bar. And they, like, can't believe I'm there to watch soccer. They're like, not a real soccer fan. Who's your favorite team? And I'm like, oh, um, super easy question. Whoever is wearing white in the rain. <laughs> It's England. It rains every day. <laughs> Don't make me picky, you know. Or they're like, well, have you ever been to a live soccer game? And I'm like, again, no, because I typically do not gather in an arena with 50,000 other people to watch porn from far away. <laughs> That's weird, you know. I am at home largely for the safety of the players. I'm a fan. But also because my remote has rewind, pause, and slow motion. And I don't know why I would ever swap that for a seat in the nosebleeds, because if you are watching these games correctly, there is butt cheek in every single one. Yeah. And because of the time difference in the U.S., the games are on during brunch. Yeah. So I'll just be over here with ten mimosas 
watching soccer, okay? If you're judging me, you can keep it. Uh, I know, I'm sorry, I got defensive. It's, it's not your fault. I, I got in a fight with one of my friends about this because she's like, Katie, you know, it's really not cool the way you talk about soccer. It's like you're using soccer to objectify men. <laughs> and isn't that exactly what we don't want them to do to us? And I was like, wow, you know, when you say it like that, I don't care. <laughs> Objectifying us, and you have not done it, so we are just going to start doing it back. And welcome to Utopia. <laughs> Things are equally shitty for everyone here. We can all go home. We did it. All right. Uh, but that, I mean, like, that is a, it's a false accusation. I am not using soccer to objectify men. All right. I will admit, I show up for the powerful thoughts. Okay. Those games start at 7:30 in the morning my time, and I deserve a little something for me. All right. Yeah. But that is not why I stay. I stay for the grown men crying. <laughs> I don't know, maybe that happens on TV all the time over here, but like, at home, if you want to watch a man cry on television, it is because he is a drug addict who has lost everything. <laughs> and you are watching the TV show Intervention, which, very high emotional payoff, but rarely sexy, and they have never had a soccer player, right? But like, these soccer teams, half of them are from Spain and Italy, so win or lose, somebody is definitely gonna cry. Right? <laughs> if I want to watch soccer without crying, I will watch the women play. Thank you very much. Yeah!